The Bell X-5 holds a distinctive place in aviation history as the first aircraft capable of changing its wing sweep angle during flight. This groundbreaking achievement emerged from the aftermath of World War II when American troops captured the unflown German Messerschmitt P-1101 prototype at Oberammergau in April 1945. The X-5 was powered by an Allison J-35A-17A axial flow turbojet engine producing 4,900 pounds of thrust. This underslung engine placement created an interesting challenge as it created misalignment between the thrust axis, drag axis, and principal axis, contributing to the aircraft's handling quirks. The X-5 achieved a maximum speed of approximately Mach 0.9, around 675 miles per hour, and operated at altitudes up to 40,000 feet. Its length was 33 feet 4 inches with a height of 12 feet. The wingspan measured 20 feet 8 inches when extended at 20 degrees and decreased to 13 feet 6 inches when fully swept back to 60 degrees. While the German P-1101 featured wings that could be adjusted on the ground, Bell's engineering team transformed this concept into a truly dynamic system. The X-5 incorporated a sophisticated mechanism allowing pilots to adjust wing sweep between three positions, 20, 40, and 60 degrees during flight, with complete transition taking less than 30 seconds. The engineering complexity extended beyond mere wing rotation. As the wings swept back, the aircraft's center of gravity shifted, requiring compensation. Bell's solution involved a jack screw assembly that simultaneously moved the wings forward along internal rails during sweep adjustments. When fully swept back to 60 degrees, the wings moved approximately 27 inches forward from their starting position. The X-5 featured an emergency manual system. If electrical failure occurred, pilots could hand crank the wings back to landing position. The aircraft could not safely land with wings swept beyond 40 degrees. A unique feature was the X-5's speed brakes positioned on the nose rather than conventional locations. This created a significant nose-down pitch when deployed, a characteristic test pilot Stanley Butchart noted would be very unacceptable in production aircraft but tolerated in research planes. The X-5 testing program was extensive compared to other X-planes of the era, with research covering vertical tail loads, gust response at various sweep angles, wing twisting, buffeting effects, and even serving as a chase plane for B-47 bomber tests. The future first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, piloted the final NACA X-5 flight on October 25, 1955, during which a landing gear door separated from the aircraft, resulting in the X-5 being grounded. Despite the X-5's fatal flaw of dangerous spin characteristics, the variable geometry concept it demonstrated eventually evolved into successful implementation on numerous production aircraft, including the F-111, F-14 Tomcat, MiG-23, Su-24, 2160, Panavia Tornado, and B-1 Lancer. The key improvement in later designs involved relocating the wing pivot points outside the fuselage, solving many issues that plagued the X-5. The Bell X-5 represents a crucial evolutionary step that validated the aerodynamic advantages of variable sweep wings, allowing aircraft to optimize performance across diverse flight regimes from takeoff to high-speed cruise.